Let's find the coefficient of determination uh, using uh, R, the R language. In this example, we want to find co coefficient of determination of this data. <coughs> 110, 215, 835, and 1344. So let's first bring those uh, data in. So I'm going to do a file, a new script. Go ahead and save it. <coughs> Coefficient of determination. Ah, I can't spell. Determination. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so I'll bring in my x values, 1, 2, 8, 13, and I'll bring in my y values, 10, 15, 35, and 44. Okay, now I want to uh, create a linear model, so I'm going to say t underscore line, this is a variable name, I call it whatever I want. And then uh, LM, then Y, and then tilde X. The LM is a function. It's a for linear model. And um, how you read this is Y is explained by X. So X is our explanatory variable, and Y is our response variable. Very important to get that order right on that. And then our, if we do the summary of T line dollar sign R dot squared. And let me run that. So I'll do an edit, run all. And four decimal places we get point nine seven seven one. Now notice different things that happen. If you forget, put on the dollar sign R dot squared. gives you a lot of different information. Um, so it gives you the residuals, uh, gives you the um, intercept and X for estimated, uh, uh, the estimated, gives us standard error, T value, uh, probability, um, residual standard error, multiple R squared, adjusted R squared, uh, F statistic, uh, P value, so a lot of different information it gives you. Realize summary is exactly what it says. It's uh, everything. Now, if I had um, forgot to put the squared on there and run it, notice we get null. If um, if you get null, it probably means you left something off. So that kind of is a ind indicator for you. Anyway, that's our program. Let me go ahead and run it one more time. I'll clear this out. I'm right-clicking on those to do the bring up that menu. And then I'll do an edit, run all. And that's how you find the coefficient determination uh, in the R language.